Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we are diving into the world of AI and checking out the top 5 tools that you can use to turn your still images into videos. So without taking much of our time, let's get started. The first platform is Animated Drawings, which you can get to by just coming to Google over here. And you can just go ahead and search for Animated Drawings, just like so. And you'll see it over here, sketch.metademolab.com. It is provided by Meta. So you can just select on animated drawings and it will be brought in over here. I'll put this same link in the description of this video as well. This platform brings children drawings to life by animating characters to move around. Okay, so the characters within the drawing is what is going to be animated to move around. So you can move or you can bring in images like this or drawings like this and it will make it movable just from mere drawings that is created by children. You can see it turning into some fantastic graphics so you can start by just coming over here to accept this and you can go ahead and say get started for free you don't even have to sign up or to create any account you can see the steps there are four steps basically to create this the first one is upload a drawing of one character where the arms and legs don't overlap the body see examples below this is the example the checklist is here you can just go ahead and see sample drawings okay the legs and hands are separate from the existing ones so you can go ahead and upload the drawing over here the one that you've selected so let's say i have this drawing just selected and let me say i have from um, this drawing this one this particular one and we can come here and say open and it's going to quickly scan and by clicking on next it's going to quickly scan this drawing to identify the different wings the hands and the legs and the, even the faces and the head and you can see right now the next step is finding the character we've identified the character and put a box around it checklist is for you to resize the box to fit to, uh, to ensure that it tightly fits in one of the characters that you've attached so for example if you have multiple characters you can see you just selected one and right now we can see from here that automatically it quickly detects the edges of the image or of the drawing if you don't capture everything you can extend it a bit here or you can extend it here by just hovering over your mouse and just clicking and moving so you can see everything is intact now we can go ahead and say next to this so the next step is identifying the separating the characters so we've separated the characters from the background and highlighted it so everything is being separated so if the body parts of your character are not highlighted, use the pen or eraser to fix it. But in this image, because it's very clear, everything is visible. The images, the hands and the eyes are visible. The legs are also very visible. If anything is missing, you can just redraw it with these features directly. You can see example. And if the arms or legs are stuck together, you can use the eraser to just quickly separate them. So. I think everything is okay and um, you can just go ahead and click on next right now we can see the first fourth step which is the last step finding character joints um here are your character joints here's an example of what it should look like this one uh, highlighting the faces the hands and the legs and i think it does a good job by capturing everything the faces are well identified the hands are well lit and the legs as well are well defined if anything is not defined correctly you can easily select and move the points from here to define the sections correctly but i think that they've done a good job so your character if your character doesn't have any arms drag the elbow to and, and waist and wrist joints far away from the character and it can still be animated so you can see um, an example so in the next step we will use the segmentation mask and these joint locations to animate your character with motion capture so you can just go ahead and say next to this all right and you can see very very fantastic the animation has been created from mere image and you have all of these features to try on your own if you have anyone that you're interested for example this dancing you can just click and it will start dancing on its own you can see it is dancing so depending on the character which character do you want to animate with just one click it is going to uh, mimic that particular character you can see dance funny jumping walking and so on so you can create any one of it and you can share directly or fix if there's any problem now the next tool is called animate from audio by adobe so you can get to animate from audio by just coming to your google and you can just search for animate from audio directly to bring you over here it's an adobe product you can just click 
or equally put the link in the description as well so you can see start now and it is very easy to start you can see right now we have the sample animation record your character dialogue or browse your mp3 dot uh, wav or dot airf or mp4 files that is two minutes and one gb per upload okay so you can record if you want to record and you can enhance the speech as well but it has to be two minutes so these are different characters that you can choose from you can choose any of the characters for example you can go with something like this and then you have the option to change the background these are different backgrounds that you can add to the same image if you want transparent or spring sunrise or the about you can choose any background of your choice and the sizing as well so what is your target are you targeting instagram or um story reels or portrait or landscape or the uh, they about you can just select anyone you like and you're going to produce a video with that size so let's say we have this audio that i have recorded and we're just going to upload it and put it in to animate all right select this and just animate so let's give you some seconds to finish the upload and enhancement and we'll just listen to it all right so right now it has finished so let's hear a brief of what we have just created with the animation right now Filmora is an easy to use video editor that allows you to create videos with fun well i think this is perfect and very interesting you can read them if you want and you can just go ahead and download it for free if you're interested and the next ai tool is called prom ai now prom ai enables you to convert text to video or images to video very easily now to start with you can just come anywhere within your browser and just type in google and you can just search for prom ai just like so and you brought in over here free uh, ai ad generator you can just go ahead and click so you brought in to this very platform so the first thing you need to notice is that as a free user of uh, prom ai you have 10 coins and for each video you created you will be charged two coins Okay, so down here you have different kind of uh, features, different kind of tools that you can use. AI image generator, creative fusion, image variations, and so on. You can see them also listed over here. Now, what we are interested for today is the AI image to video. Like I said, you can do image to video or text to video. So you can just go ahead, come to image to video, and you brought in over to this uh, very platform. You can see examples of videos that are generated from images. We can come over here to create your own by just clicking on this plus sign. And you can import any video any image of your choice so let's say we go with this simple image click on open now you have the option to give the uh, prompt okay do you have do you want high motion or you want the low motion you can choose in between high motion or low motion let's go with high motion at this point and you can just go ahead and click on generate this is going to cost you two coins like we've explained and mind you you can always invite users to get more coins if you're interested all right so right now when the video had been created you can go ahead and play it and you're going to have a very beautiful video like this suddenly generated from this ai tool the next tool that we have is called the gemmo ai this one over here you can get to gemmo ai by just coming to gemmo.ai and you'll be welcome to this very platform magically make videos with ai so you can make videos from images you can upload images and you can insert things or give descriptions or describe the kind of things you want the ai to do with your image to convert it to something else so all you need once you're here you just make sure you click on videos and you can just go ahead and give them given the prompt of what you want it to do or you can upload an image directly you can just upload an image directly and you have some very basic tweaks that um, you can change the settings. You can click on the settings over here. You can change the aspect ratio, the duration of the video, and then you can preserve some, some properties of the image. You may choose to how much the property you want to preserve. You can play around, increase or decrease the preservation in terms of the existing property of the image, the motion, how fast or how much motion you want to put to the image. And then the batch, you want to make it uh, uh, 1x or 2x, you can change all that and you can loop, enable looping if you are interested in uh, looping. So this is going to be continuous. Now you can just go ahead once you are okay with this, you can just go ahead and click out, give the description. This is a cup of iced tea with a straw on a table. So it has already recognized the video that we have, uh, the image that we've uploaded. 
that it's a cup of iced tea with a straw on the table so if you like you can just go ahead and say change the make it a clear glass of tea on a polished wooden table condensation running down and sides of the glass okay so you can just whatever you have you can just go ahead and push on push on the submit button and wait for your video to be created all right and you can see our video had just been created with the required movement the next tool is called immersity ai you can get to immersity ai by just coming to app.immersity.ai and we brought in over to this platform now you can upload your image and it will be converted into a video with some slight motion um, in this case you have much more flexibility because you can control the kind of motion that you are going to get within the video created so all you need is just to upload the video remember to use google chrome google chrome browser to to ensure a seamless video upload process so they prefer you to use the google chrome browser so all you need is come to upload and click on upload just navigate wherever you have your image or your yeah the image that you want to convert and you can just go ahead and say open to this and it's going to upload it and start the motion aspect it's just going to analyze it process it and give you a motion out of your image all right so you can see this this is a default motion but you have the option to change it to 3d image and you can see some very basic controls as regards the video you created you can enable the reverse uh, right now it is looped so it is going to continue continuously be creating a loop you can change the motion of the uh, the created motion you can make it horizontal motion or you can make it vertical motion something like this you can be able to see it or you can make it zoomed motion something like this or perspective motion all right so or you can make a daily motion or thereabouts so you have some number of controls that you have as regards the the motion of the image and you have some custom settings also as regards the same the same touch i said at any given point you can download the video and you can use it for your content creation so this concludes this uh, tutorial about the top five ai tools that can create images uh, videos from your images very simple videos from your images that you've uploaded with them hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next one please don't forget to always hit the like and subscribe buttons to keep enjoying videos like this thank you and see you around